I got some M Cosmetics, as you can see on my screen, because we're getting all fancy because I have a new setup. What? So basically, I got some new makeup from M by Michelle Fawn, and I actually did like a little unboxing video, but then I decided I do a lot of unboxing videos, and I don't do a lot of reviews, and so I'm going to do that. I'm going to review it, because I have been using it for probably a week now. Um, yes, I got it last. Wednesday and it's Tuesday of the next week. So I'm gonna review it and talk about it and talk about things I love and don't love and yeah. I got the waterliner in rose gold, which Michelle actually put out a video recently and saying the rose gold is the number one best selling color of the waterliners and for good reason. I am in love with this stuff and I'm so obsessed with it right now because before this came out, I saw her tutorial about her doing the waterliner on your, I guess, in your waterline to brighten your eyes and make them this really cool color. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna go find that at Ulta. And I ended up buying a shadow stick from Urban Decay, and it was really sparkly, and it was almost the exact same color. And it's great, in, except for the fact that it is sparkly, and it gets little sparkles in my eyes and irritates it. And anyone who has contacts knows that getting sparkles in your eyes sucks. So I need to say, I did not use that shadow stick for very long, at least in my waterline. Shadow goes on your eyeball lid. Not your eye, actual eyeball, but your lid. That would be gross if you put it on your eyeball. I finally dropped the cash for the waterliner. This sells for $20. This is the best investment I have made yet in makeup. So this is it. I will swash it for you. Swash, swash. Oh no! So there was a tip on this, and then I guess I pressed too hard and it fell off, so I just lost a buttload of liner. <laughs> well, we're just going to take this whole broken piece and put it all over my hand so you can see how pretty and glorious this color is. <laughs> Literally all over my fingers. It's like this pinky, um, kind of like a pinky taupe in a sense that's, yep, this is good. This is great. I actually found out last night. I put it on yesterday morning before I got to work and then came home and still had it on my eye line, my water line, and I was like, oh, it's so cool. This is like lasting a really long time. This is like eight hours and it's not smudging or doing anything. Like, this is great. It's staying on just like I want it to. And then I went to my guy friend's house and we watched a movie and it was really cool and I actually got really tired and fell asleep. And I woke up, came home, and washed my face off, and it was still freaking on my eyes. And I was just like, what? Like, that is ridiculously long lasting because I went to work at 10 o'clock that day. So I had it on, probably I put it on about 9 o'clock. So from 9 to 2 in the morning, it was still on my eyes, perfectly as it was, unsmudged. Like, it looked gorgeous still. And then I was like, you know what, I'm too tired to wash my face. So I went to bed and I woke up and it was still on my eyes. What? Like, that, this is fantastic. And I know in the video recently, Michelle said that it was specially formulated so it stays on your waterline because it is like a wetter area. And this is freaking proof, guys. It was, it was amazing. So I was super, super pleased with that. It's this awesome consistency too, where like sometimes you put water liners in your eye and it like flakes off or it feels chunky or like gross or greasy in your eye. And this is super smooth, super lightweight, just overall fantastic. I am in love with this stuff. I will, this is a complete staple in my basic makeup kit for everyday makeup now because it's just fantastic and it really does brighten up your eyes. And a little smudger thing at the end. How neat. I'm never gonna use that, especially for this color. This is wonderful. That is the color finally all mushed in to my hand. So that's the color of the eyeliner. So the next thing that probably more of you are waiting for is the Life Palette that I got. And I actually got the Love Life Palette because I don't have a Love Life, so I figured I'd better get one. Insert laughter here. So I got the Love Life Palette, and when you buy it, it comes with this little travel kit. So I was very pleased with the packaging because some of those travel kit things, you feel like when you open it, they're gonna be really flimsy and pull apart. And this is already like, you instantly feel it and it feels very kind of heavy duty almost. And a little bit heavy at first. And I was kind of like, oh, this is maybe a little too heavy for a travel thing. 
but you open it and it's lovely and it's got this huge mirror it's love. Look, this, I can see myself in this so nicely. So I really love the fact that you get a very giant mirror right here to use. And then you have all your faces to put everything. And you take this little doohickey, pointy pen thing, and there's little tiny dots. And I don't know if you can see them. There's little tiny dots next to each thing. And you can take it and put it in the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. It's magnetic, so you can pop it out. Oh, no! And look, it's not gonna fall off, even though it's upside down. So, because it's magnetic. Ah! <laughs> See, it does weird things. So there's, there's that. See, it literally, it's gonna stay on. Oh, except not. But when you slide it in, it doesn't like nothing comes out because it's magnetic to the thing. So you can put, this is your blush spot, obviously the biggest one. Then you have your eye colors here. And you can put some lip colors too because they all fit. And then I have my lip colors up here. I kind of follow the idea of the palette she has set up and the way it's set up here. So I set up my little travel kit the exact same way. So that's my little kit that I set up. I don't know how you'd call it. It's like from day to night. This is what it looks like. Minus a few spots because obviously I took them out and put them in my travel palette But this is generally what it looks like part about this palette actually is the fact that if you close it It's kind of like a box of chocolates where you know how it tells you what each thing is like where and where it's placed This shows you on the back Everything right here and it shows you all the different colors tells you what they are blushes and things like that For instance the one I have in my travel palette is the pink whisper blush. It tells you what everything is like a box of chocolates, which, I mean, think about it guys, love life, you're going to be getting chocolates from someone you love generally, right? Right, so this works for you. The Love Life palette has a nice mixture of like almost romantic tones. You have some pinks and some natural colors here. You have some more playful deep purples and blues, and then you have kind of more basic purples, kind of more fun colors, but overall very romantic colors, which is very cool cohesive, coordinated something, which goes along with the love life palette being romantic and cutesy and all of that good jazz. Overall, everything's kind of sparkly in some sense, but more some are more so than others. The colors you have to be really careful with, like this one right here, the neutral that I, lip color that I have, and then this one over here, they're more of an actual gloss, so you don't want to push too hard when you use your brush or like your finger and stuff because you'll end up with a giant blob thingy like this and it'll be highly unsatisfying. Overall, this is a really cute palette. This was $75, but then you get your travel palette, which is like a $10 or $15 value for free. It might be a really expensive deal and it might be a little bit because the size of some of these, I don't know how long they're gonna last. The shadows, of course, will last a lot longer and the blushes will last a lot longer. The lip colors, I'm scared to see how long they're actually going to last because my neutral one I got a week ago and it's already getting slightly lowish and I have not used it that much so I'm a little nervous that the lip colors are going to go pretty quickly. That's kind of one con. The other con is I know Michelle is really big on using her fingers for like everything, like for her foundation and her blush and whatever so she probably just takes her blush, uh, switches it around on her finger and then puts it on her cheeks. For her, that's great. I like using a brush for my blush because I feel like if I put it on with my finger then it gets like too saturated in one area. So I like to use a brush and kind of put it on a little bit lightly. So when you're putting it on you have to be careful with like how you sweep your brush because if you don't be careful you might get some eyeshadow on there or some lip color on your brush and then you're gonna have like pink and gold cheeks or pink and purple cheeks you know if you're not careful. Or I guess you could technically pop them out of the case but you could pop them out so wash it around and then put it on your face and then put it back in. But really that's just time consuming and inconvenient and that defeats the whole purpose of this. If you haven't gotten it yet, I definitely highly recommend you get it because it is fantastic. I know it seems pricey but so far it does seem worth it. So, and then I mean there's always codes and stuff. I got off 20% off on this kit. And then as far as the water liner, get it. It will be the best thing that you ever do in your entire life, especially if you want to brighten your eyes and want very simple, basic eye makeup every day. This is super gorgeous to do, so highly, highly, highly recommend this. There is no downside to this except for maybe the fact that if you push too hard, it breaks off, but all liners do that, unless they're pencil, and this is like a little crayon thingy. So that's the wrong side. So 
Definitely get it. Love it. This is the color. If you've gotten any M Cosmetics stuff yet, let me know in the comments below what you've gotten and if you really like it or what your thoughts on the products are. Let me know in the comments below. Talk to me because I want to talk to you. And that's going to be it. So talk to you guys super, super soon and bye. There you go. Bam. Or you can be young. I use the same thing. As Arden. Oh, I don't even know. There's millions of undertones apparently. Goodbye, Arden. Sorry. Um, next thing is. Go away. Oh, sorry. Next thing is the Fenty Beauty Blush Palette. Oh, I'm so excited.